Well, hello and welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. I just wanted to show you a short video of how I've got this corner of the ham shack set up. Uh, of course, I've added in this new CS800 uh, from Connect Systems into the ham shack. So I kind of wanted to show you how, how I did the connections and basically set it up as a separate station here in the ham shack. So, you know, there's multiple operating positions that I have in the ham shack. This one happens to be in the right hand corner. And uh, if you look at one of my other videos, you can kind of see that corner in the main video where I took a shot of the entire ham shack. But anyway, what you're looking at here is uh, I've got a little uh, Uniden uh, BCX15X uh, or BCT15X right here. And it's scanning uh, various channels. Uh, this was actually, I think I've told you this already, the first piece of equipment I ever bought was this little scanner. And uh, I'll turn up the volume and maybe there's something on it that you can hear. One of the police talk or something like that. <clears throat> well, there's the dispatcher's office in Hunt County with the little uh, uh, Morse code off the repeater. Anyway, so there's a little scanner. Here's a little uh, Kenwood SP31 speaker. Now this speaker is con actually connected up to the ICOM 7000 over here. I have not connected this to this to this speaker yet. I intend to, but I want to make sure there there's some talk about connecting a speak an external speaker to the CS800 could mess up the radio. So I want to check that out before I actually connect it up. But it does have a front firing speaker right here that works quite well. So right now I'm on what's called Dallas Metro. And if I push these little buttons here, I can switch around through the talk channels. There's Dallas statewide and Dallas, Texas uh, and Oklahoma, kind of a regional setting. And uh, a TAC 310, which is, uh, you're supposed to move over there. If you're on statewide or uh, worldwide, you need to move to a, a more localized channel so you don't turn on all the repeaters. And that's one of those localized channels. And then we got North America, of course, and worldwide English, and simply Dallas Worldwide, which is a different talk group from Worldwide English. And then we're back to uh, uh, Dallas Metro. Now I also went ahead and set up the Venus repeater and the Fort Worth repeater, but as point of fact I cannot hit those from here. But they're already loaded in the machine if I should ever take this uh, CS800 and make it a mobile unit. Uh, of course next to it is the ICOM 7000. Again it's scanning VHF UHF channels right now. Uh, on the, you can see the screen changing right there. And this one of course is connected up to a big monitor uh, above the desk that you can see in some other videos. But uh, how did I do these connections? Well, I happen to have an extra Alta Delta two position switch. And I really had this one up in the attic uh, connected to a 40 meter dipole up there along with a Cushcraft dual band vertical. And I was using this to switch back and forth uh, 
for the little emergency station outside. Well, all I really have to do is go upstairs and unplug something and plug in another cable. It would only take me one minute. So uh, I decided to pull the switch and put it in here. And basically, two positions. Uh, position position one, as you can see, is the uh, ICOM 7000, which is coming through this Kenwood speaker right now. Let's just listen for a minute. So I found myself wanting to brush up on my CW skills, and I find myself in my truck, you know, going to and from work. And it scans, it's skinny right now, so it stays on the signal for a few seconds and then it goes away and starts scanning again. Unless I actually push a button on the radio that stops it. Uh, if I switch to position two on the switch, then I'm over here on the CS800. And uh, I can hear and talk on the CS800. So it's it's very manageable uh, from this particular operating position uh, to listen in on either radio. All I have to do is just reach up here and yeah, there used to be, uh, turn the switch. Around, you know, on audio cassette. And they're still talking. So uh, turned out pretty neat. A very nice arrangement. And I'm very happy with it. No problem. And uh, I'd encourage you, if you don't know anything about uh, DMR radio, digital mobile radio, that you do a little reading on it. It's kind of a neat mode. Kind of reminds me of D-Star in a way. Programming totally different than D-Star. Uh, nothing is similar. And uh, just caution you that originally these were these are commercial radios. They have a different use. So the programming software was really designed to for commercial use. Uh, for instance, you might have a city manager that wants to monitor the sewer department, the road department, the police, uh, the sheriff's department, or whatever. And the programming permits uh, that to happen and into multiple talk groups even up to uh, 16 per channel so um, it's very good for commercial use was never designed for amateur radio but amateur radio operators are now playing with DMR radio and it is a neat mode and again the audio quality I believe is better than D-Star. D-Star is pretty good, but uh, this seems to be uh, much less uh, robotic. Anyway, with that said, as I usually do, I wish you clear skies, 73, and remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. See y'all later. Everybody be good.